Kids, good morning, how are you? Our video today is about helping people see Jesus, helping people see God. And we're going to meet two, three, four, five people who <clears throat> met God this morning. <clears throat> and then you're going to have a challenge to go out and help people see God through how you live your lives. So let's get into the movie. Our first scene is Moses meeting God in the wilderness. He met God with a burning bush. And the amazing part was that bush, though was burning, never burned up. Moses was tending his sheep. That's a little black sheep he's got there. Um, don't think it's a cat. It's actually a little black sheep. As he was walking, he suddenly saw something amazing. And he was shocked by what he saw. It was a burning bush, and it burned bright. And God said to Moses, it is I. Take off your shoes, because you're on holy ground. And Moses said, okay, I'll take off my shoes. And he was amazed to see it. But he got to see God in a burning bush. And it was really something. <coughs> then the next person who gets to meet God is Elijah. Elijah was in the wilderness, and he got really scared. And he ran and he hid in a cave. <laughs> and while he was hiding, God said to him, Come out, Elijah. Come out. I want to talk to you. So Elijah got really scared. <laughs> and he hid himself. But then he finally decided he had to come out and talk with God. So out he came. And as he came out, he first looked for God in what was a powerful wind. It blew like crazy. But the part that Elijah couldn't believe is God wasn't in the wind. And then the next thing that happened was the earth quaked so loud and hard that the rocks cracked. But again, what amazed Elijah was God was not in the rocks cracking in the earthquake. And then the thunder clapped and the lightning came. But once again, God was not in the thunder and the lightning, but it was God's still, small voice that came to Elijah. And finally, we come to a part where Elijah saw Jesus up on the mountaintop, and so did Moses. But our smiles can help other people see Jesus as well. Look at that. Remember, smiling, being there for each other, giving people hugs, and letting them know how much they are loved makes all the difference in the world. Hey, kids. When Moses and Elijah saw Jesus up on the mountaintop, it's called the Transfiguration. And there were three disciples there as well with Jesus and they got to see him as well. And when we come to Sunday school and we read the Bible together, and when we learn, we get to hear about and see Jesus' love. And then, as you could see in the smiles and the hugs, when we go out into the world and do that for others, then we become a way for them to see God and Jesus as well. The way we live our lives can be like a picture for others to see God, to see Jesus, to see the love that Jesus talks about to us. And that's what I'm going to challenge you to do this week. Go out and take, smile, and let people know what a beautiful world it is. Give your parents a hug and live your life overjoyed that God loves you so much. Anyway, let's say a quick prayer, and um, then we will come to an end. So let's pray. Well, God, we ask that you'll be with our young people, watching over them, giving strength, and helping them to know that you love them. And in that love, they can smile at others, and they can let no others know how much you love them. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.